Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. Today, it's not going to be any of those, well, I guess it will be lifestyle. And I've been writing in the Project 369 book and I haven't really seen many people make videos about it, but here are the books. Let me come a little closer. So here are the books. There's two. Uh, the final edition is the latest one. And then this is the first one. Well, actually the second. I don't have the first one. And very interesting books, guys. So in the first book, it's a lot less reading in the beginning of the book. Um, and it just kind of walks you through the process of what you how you should write in the book um, and how to pretty much manifest what you are wanting, right? Um, so it has more journaling in here <clears throat> opposed to the second one. So the second one is still the key to the universe, but it's the final edition. And it has more stuff about huh, like angel signs and um, just the, the 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 process of how the 369 came up, why why it's important, how sometimes the numbers 369 are eliminated from certain equations, like whichever way you flip it, you can't find it. <laughs> um, so it's pretty important. And I wanted to come on here. So, well, really quick, you guys know that this is Nikola's Tesla's uh theory or process you want to call it um but let me tell you guys when they talk about writing down your goals and stuff on paper creating vision boards and you know all those things listen <laughs> it is true it sounds so cliche writing it down and stuff like that but it's not really a goal until you write it down so the only reason why I'm doing a video on this is because I would like everyone to get this book. Well, the final edition, because that's the only one that they have. It's a little bit of reading in the beginning, but it's setting you up to write in the book. And once it's done, you can get like a regular journal and start journaling your thoughts. Um, and I would recommend following the same process, 369, meaning write it three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times before you go to bed. Now, right before you go to bed, I would say, if you're not a person to meditate or anything like that, just kind of sit with your thoughts and um, before you're writing in it. Now, the first time I did the book, I was writing in it every single day. It tells you that you don't have to, and I'm going to say I would have to agree because when you're writing in it every day, sometimes you feel rushed to have to put something in the book but you wanna be extremely, extremely intentional when you're writing in the book. Um, I personally would say, <laughs> when your thought, and it doesn't matter, if you write every day, that's okay, because I am I do it every day, but I am gonna take my time the second time around and really be intentional on what I'm writing in here. And when I mean intentional, I mean write exactly what you want to manifest in your life. So. If you are a person who has a small business and you want to see certain things happen, write it on, write it in the book. Even if you have a vision board, I'll tell you this. I wrote some stuff a couple of years ago on a vision board. The other day I looked at it and I was like, oh wow, I checked everything off, right? Um, but I wrote it and I literally forgot about it. So it's kind of like that. Write it and forget about it. Uh, when you're praying, you pray about it and you forget about it, right? You let it go. So the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I know a lot of people feel like certain things don't happen for them when they need it to happen, but everything is really in its own timing. We can't rush it. Um, if you're not really prepared for it yet, you're not going to get it. Um, if you're not doing the work to work towards it, you're not going to get it. Um, and that's just the reality of it. So we have all these thoughts, everything that we want, we can definitely have. In the words of Kanye, he could do anything. Uh, but I definitely believe in my heart of hearts that if you 
want something, you have to work towards it, right? It's not just gonna come to you overnight. Well, it can. <laughs> But it's not just gonna come to you if you're not doing the work to prepare yourself to get there. If you're not 100% ready, it is not going to be given to you. And if it is, and you're not ready, it's not going to work out how you want it to work out. So, check out the books, The 369 Project. Um, two things, I purchased from their website and it takes forever to come. I don't know why. I have a friend, she purchased it from the Instagram link and she seems to get it pretty quickly. And then you have people who order from Amazon who gets it even quicker. So it's the same book from Amazon, I've seen it. So, you know, the choice is yours, but it's the Project 369 book, guys. Get the book, thank me later. And again, make sure you're being intentional when you're doing it. Now, don't get discouraged because you see some reading in the beginning of the book. It's really just making you understand some things that you probably already have been seeing and are about to see. So take your time, read the pages, and then when you're actually ready to write in it, then you do that. Make sure you are carrying the book with you wherever you go because you want to put these thoughts down when you have them um, and these things that you want to come to fruition in your life, guys. So I just wanted to come on here really quick because I usually don't talk about a, a lot of stuff in my personal life. But I think that a lot of guys, a lot of you guys should actually get the book um, and just start writing in it. Just start journaling and just start to see things come out. And I'll say this, when you're writing in here, and let's just say you have a small business and you start to notice that all of a sudden you start getting people to help you or the information is coming to you, the book y'all <laughs> because I feel like when you're writing in it you're putting this stuff out into the universe um and the universe is only going to give you back what you're asking for right so if you need help with something you're probably going to get that help from someone out of nowhere if you're if your sales have been slow you may all of a sudden out of nowhere get a phone call and someone saying hey I know someone who want to purchase your product right so just really take heed to the little signals that you guys get. Um, I know a lot of people are not into angel numbers and stuff like that, but we see numbers all the time, but there's meanings behind them. And I think it's just a good thing to just journey your thoughts down and just kind of see them coming to fruition. Um, also, when after you finish the book, what I would recommend you doing is keeping the book and go back to it occasionally just to kind of see what pretty much came to fruition um and that's it so it's the project 369 it's the key to the universe the final edition it's a little bit smaller than the first version um i think the first i don't know they're both okay they're both okay i won't i won't say one is better than the other you just have more writing to do in the first one which is the second edition and then the third edition you have more reading you still have writing in here but you have a little bit more reading to kind of get your get you on the right track when it comes to writing in the book guys so let me know if you want any more information on some other books that i have um and i can let you guys know so if you like videos like this please comment below and if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco styles ny and my blog coco styles nyc and my website, CocoStylesNY.com. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.